How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to unbox and quickly review IVAC X10 stick vacuum cleaner from uh, Godfrey's. Now, let's have a look at the packaging first. Now, there you go. So that's the front of it. It says lightweight lithium cordless. And here are all the features that it has. Well, it says lightweight, okay. It's actually got a motorized power head and uh, you, it does come with um, like a wall mount but then you can also mount it like this like for charging you can actually use the 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 power head and the stick as a dock for the vacuum unit and it comes with uh, two attachments and the cherry on the top it's actually got a 21.6 volt lithium ion battery uh, some of the other vacuum cleaners that I saw in the good guys or some of the other retailers they were only 18 volt batteries and they were retailing around 200 250 in that kind of range whereas this one's got a 21.6 uh lithium ion battery and this one is only 99 dollars and it's actually very light it's only 2.38 kilos really really light it's uh, lighter than the three liter uh, uh, milk bottle so there you go um and on the other side it's basically that and this side it just shows that it's got a swivel head and cyclonic system all right now let's open up the box come this thing comes with a one-year warranty what i'm really impressed with is that for a hundred dollars well less than a hundred dollars technically you are getting a 21.6 uh volt battery and you're getting a power head so that's pretty impressive so that's just a piece of cardboard and let's see what we get here so that's the the power head there that we have to take out of the and here we go now it actually feels quite nice and that's the brush uh, uh, but it's like down here this part actually feels quite solid the pipe here feels a little bit cheapish you know it's obviously not gonna be uh you know as solid as uh some of the more expensive products but for a hundred dollars i think it's still pretty good um that's the stick uh, let's see all right so here's the stick and you can see the two power connectors here so that's gonna power your motorized head and the stick actually feels really nice it feels like it's made of aluminium it is yeah all right so it's not just plastic but that's pretty cool and we got the attachments that's the upholstery attachment and this one's got another trick up its sleeve uh, i'll have to open open that up later and i'll show you in a minute ah oh, gosh cool. maybe now So this one has a brush, right? But then it's like a transformer. You can slide it and it take it all out and now it becomes an upholstery um, attachment. So there you go, that's one. That's your crevice tool. What else is here? Uh, that's the mounting bit for the attachments. Like you can just clip them in. Instructions manual and there's the actual vacuum unit which does not want to come out. Oh god. Come on. Oh. Here we are. We should have a charger in there somewhere. Oh here. There, there must be the charger. Yep, that's the charger. What else is in here? Let's it home. Ah, that's that must be the battery. Cool. So that battery is actually also replaceable. So if your battery does die, so they, I'm already liking it better than Dyson. Now here are my thoughts about Dyson. Dyson is basically the apple of vacuum industry you know they make good looking products but they're pretty crap um i have 
seen and used some of the vacuums but i never owned one like from dyson uh one of my mates had one uh that one only had uh, i think less than 15 minutes of run time on maximum power this one though has i think what was it over 20 minutes let's see what does it say here you go uh powered by it's down here somewhere here are the specs okay 23 minutes of run time that's on full power right and um whereas uh dyson's they got less than 15 around 10 10 minutes and dyson's cost a lot more like you looking at around maybe five times more than this one um and the other thing was the dyson's batteries are not replaceable because basically just like an iphone again they built their batteries inside so you can't really easily replace them and you want to have them replaced they're going to charge you pretty money and uh basically they're forcing you to buy a new product you because you're going to be like i might as well throw the product away just buy a new one because it's going to be too expensive to replace the battery whereas this one you can just unclip it now yeah um, if i were you i would stay away from the the dysons you know and uh, I've, and i've also used one at work and it is not good it the suction sucks so basically <laughs> yeah pun intended um all right so here's this unit i think the battery is gonna go down there i don't know i'm gonna do that with one hand though uh, okay let's see if i can do it Is it the right way? I think it is. All right, it clicks in, and here's the power button at the top. Now the unit itself feels really, really premium, almost as uh, as good as a Dyson, uh, if you if you must. And um, like the tip, it's got the the power connections there, and it actually feels really solid and really, really light. So I like that. Suction ain't bad either. And the lady was telling me she said like when you when it's charging the light in here goes red, and uh, when it's fully powered you know it uh, goes blue. And you got a button, the release button, the empty button on the on the front here. You click that and it drops down. You can quickly empty it, and it's also got these quick release buttons that drop down the whole filter i can't do that with one hand it's gonna to be too hard for me to do it but you get the idea right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it together and put it to a test just let me assemble it okay so we're in the kitchen as you can see it's got the charging uh port there that's where you gotta plug it in it does come with the dock that that must be in there i haven't actually seen that uh and and let and the, all you gotta do is you gotta flick it and that unlocks it and you basically start using it now let's give it a test what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get something to clean ah oh, hang on a minute now i've got some bread crumbs from my toaster put that on the floor Let's see how it does for those breadcrumbs. One pass. And everything is gone. That is damn good. And let's see. There you go, all the crumbs are in there. Yes, let me see if I can focus it. Yeah, there. You can see them all in there. So yeah, for hundred bucks, it's not a bad little vacuum cleaner. Um, but yeah, I would say if you just need a light vacuum cleaner, rather than shelling out so much money on a bloody Dyson, why not give this a shot? Um, and uh, like to be honest I really like it but if there is anything wrong with it I'll make another video and I'll leave the link in the description so so far at the moment I am a little bit impressed with it and the suction even 
And when I tried it here, it actually feels really nice. And because it's got a motorized head as well, so that's another bonus because, um, and oh, and look at these wheels, they're actually uh, rubber wheels, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, with the motorized one is uh, that you don't lose that much of su suction, uh, whereas um, the suction driven ones, they, you lose that uh, suction power because part of that suction is being used to drive that um, the rotating head whereas on this one is done by power so you don't lose any of that suction and uh, as you can see like I mean you saw it in just one pass all the crumbs are gone and to be honest I'm not making this up I have tried Dyson's V6 at work you gotta fight with the crumbs on the floor it just doesn't uh, pick them up it's absolutely shit so if I were you you know stay away from the Dyson's and not even just Ivex you know like give others a shot and I have also heard some bad things about the Electrolux ones. They're saying they're pretty bad. While I was there, I actually had a look at a, a one Hoover uh, stick vacuum. That was actually pretty nice, but it was about twice the price of this one. So I was like, nah, I'll stick with this one because that's all I need it for. I've got a big vacuum cleaner for the house. This is more for just in between and doing the cars. So I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, if you have any other questions, ask me. Uh, and like I said, if I face any issues in the future or near future, I will definitely let you know. I'll uh, make another video and I'll leave the link in the description of this one if there are any issues that I'm not happy with. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to show you this. So you can use the the stick and the, the head as a, um, a dock for your unit. So basically, you got a little... Uh, clip there and you just slide it through there uh, hang on where is it I missed it there and then you can plug it in and uh, you got a dock for your vacuum cleaner now anyway guys so this is it for this video and I will see you in the next one see ya it's black and white